All right, so to uh, get started on the um, the coloring, um, you know it's it's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna go to your um, layers panel. So you're gonna go to Windows, Layers. Looks like I got the wind layers open already. So you go to your layers panel and um, you're gonna lock your um, the outline layer, and then you want to create a color layer in between the outline and then the um, the picture layer. Okay. Um, so now if you have your picture layer in where the outline is, you may have to delete that picture. So just keep in mind of that though. But you should have like an outline. This should be your um, layer where your picture is. You can actually delete the picture after this point because at this point now you should have like a completed picture of um, you know how you want the logo to look. And this layer in the middle is going to be your um, uh, color layer. But it's real important to have like the outline on the top and then the color on the bottom. So now you, all you're going to do now is um, you're just going to retrace those um, uh, areas in the picture. So uh, you're going to use the pen tool and um, and then you're, you're also going to go to your swatches too. So um, you go to Windows, Swatches. So Swatches is going to allow you to pick the colors real quickly. Uh, you're going to click on the library on the bottom left. And um, uh, you're going to go to Default Swatches and click on Print. So this will give you the um, uh, the basic colors that you um, that you can just start off with. All right, now for the um, now we're going to do um, you know four different variations of the um, the colors. Um, originally, I said we we're going to do um, three of them, but um, you know when you when you play around the colors, it doesn't really take too long to you know change up the colors because you know once you um, you know set the um, shapes where all the colors are, it's really easy just to change the color. So. Um, the the first variation, which is what I want you to just focus on for now, is um, we're just going to mainly be doing it from like um, you know black, gray, and white. Okay, so you're going to mainly be using these um, tones here. So um, you know, for like my background here, maybe I might only use like a darker gray. So yeah, I just click on the dark gray. Um, you know, get rid of the outline here, and all you need is the um, the vector where the fill is. So you're just going to um, you know, trace the area. I'm just going to work on just the background part. And, you know, since you changed up the line waist, though, it should be a lot easier to, um, you know, like trace those areas in the picture. So you're just going to trace all the way around. And, you know, don't worry if it does like this weird thing like this. It, uh, once you trace it all the way around, though, um, you know, it'll, it'll fix itself. Uh, but essentially, this is how you're going to do your um, coloring in the picture. Okay, so let's just say I, like, I messed up here by accident. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that if you uh, make some mistakes in the tracing. So yeah, that bottom part, I just messed up on purpose. Let's just show you how to fix it if you mess up. Uh, so I'm just going to continue tracing the lines here. And you're just going to go all the way around like those areas that you want to color in. Alright. And just make sure to go all the way around to make sure every part's uh, colored and completed. All right, if you look right here, though, I did mess up on some parts. So some parts are kind of sticking out in the other areas. Okay, so if you need to fix these areas, there's um, two ways you can do it. Uh, you know, you can use the um, you can use the direct selection tool. Uh, you're gonna click on the shape, and you're gonna click on the point, and then you can actually drag some of these points back into the um, that area. So that, that's one way you can. Um, uh, fix those parts if you mess up. Um, another way you can do it too is um, you can click on the point, uh, you can click on the um, yeah the, the shape, the point, and then sometimes if you delete it, it'll get rid of those points too. So I'm just deleting, I'm just clicking on the point, I'm just deleting it. And then you can actually go back with the pencil to reconnect those lines together. So if you haven't messed up on it, those are like different ways you can fix it. But you know, essentially, you're going to, uh, you know, trace those separate shapes and the colors. And if you incorporated words in the picture, uh, so actually, you know, I had some words in this picture here. Um, you, know, you can go back to those letters. Um, again, you have to, might, may have to unlock the um, outline tool. You can just click on the letters, and you, know, you can just change those colors as you're working on it. All right, but that's essentially going to be doing that to you. Um, yeah, you know, to do the coloring. So you just do that for like each of those shapes. Um, you know, again, I'm just gonna work on the eye here, and I'm, I'm just gonna use the black for the eye. Oops, let me get my layers back. So, 
Work on the color layer. Color this part black. I'm actually just doing a dark brown just so I can see what I'm coloring. As the middle part I'm going to make white. So that part's going to be black. And then this part in the middle is going to be white. So, you know, you can always change up the colors later as you're uh, working on it. And if you need to zoom in, you know, I would zoom in close. Uh, but it shouldn't take too long to do the coloring, though. This is probably like the one of the easier easier things to do in the picture. I mean, you can always click on the shapes, change the colors if you need to. All right, but that's what we, that's what you're gonna do for the coloring though. All right, any any questions on that?